Hello everybody, my name's Bill. This is Rust to Resurrection. Today, we're going to install a new fuel pump in my 46 CJ2A. Before we get started, I wanna let you in on a couple secrets. The first is that this Jeep has not run on the highway since just before COVID, which was 2019. Not because I didn't want to, but because of all the things that were going on in my life, I just did not have the time to give to the Jeep to make sure that we got it up and running. Now, I did try to start it last summer, um, sometime in the late spring, early summer, and I could get it started, but the only way I could keep it running was to spray carb cleaner down inside the, the throttle of the... Um, carburetor couldn't keep it primed it just did not want to prime so what I'm going to do is change this fuel pump put in a new fuel pump my thinking is is that the diaphragm may have gone bad it doesn't matter this restoration is an old restoration uh, I've always had trouble starting the Jeep um, so I'm thinking why don't I just go after this put the new fuel pump in we're going to try and get this thing running and driving because this Jeep, frankly, is probably my favorite. The second secret that I want to let you in on has to do with the YouTube channel itself. If you've been around the channel for a while, then you know that I started all my Jeep content on my other larger channel, Six Rounds Studio. I then began to uh, produce some gun restoration videos over there, and the Jeep content just sort of fell by the wayside. I started this second channel just over a year ago where I'm filming and, and uploading all of my Jeep and automotive content. Now, I've recently uploaded several vids on this, um, this CJ2A, but those actually were videos that I remade from the other channel. So this is, this is literally four years past when I made those last videos. Anyway, so my goal is to get this Jeep started and run because as much as I like the family's Willys MB, that early 43, I have a very warm spot in my heart for this CJ2A. It's actually, it's, uh, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more robust, and I don't have the issues taking it off road that I would have with the, the Willys MB. Uh, that is a family heirloom, and I really do not want to mess that Jeep up because I do want to pass it to the next generation. Okay, that all said, um, I love this Jeep. I love I love the style of the CJ2A. Uh, I love, again, like I said, the robustness of it. That said, let's get started changing this fuel pump. So if you've been watching the channel, you've probably figured out that even though this is a pretty nice restoration, it was cobbled together. There's a lot of things about this that are strange, um, non-standard. They did what they needed to do uh, to put this thing back together and get it running again. And so I have to pull this water, this uh, fuel pump, and they have a combination of flex lines and fittings and uh, copper lines. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, so first thing I need to do is to remove those fuel lines. I do have a drain pan underneath just in case there's any fuel left in these fuel lines. So I was messing around earlier trying to figure out what size these were. Um, and when I did it, I found out that that left bolt that bolts the fuel pump to the block was only hand tight. So 
again, who knows what? Who knows? All right. So this is pretty typical of what they've done. <clears throat> Rather than getting the right size bolt, what they've done is they've got an oversized or too long bolt and <laughs> put multiple washers on. Yeah, this is what I'm running into everywhere I go on this Jeep. Anyway, we got one bolt out. Now we gotta do the second one. This is the same, barely tight. Okay, she's loose. She's under some spring tension here, which I would expect. Another way too long bolt. Looks like I got some new hardware in my future. That is a lot of bolts. And that is what we're dealing with right there. So the uh, gasket is half missing, half on. And the other half of the gasket is half missing, half on. And as I said, here are those bolts. Again, everything seems to be Mostly jerry-rigged here. It's too bad. This one is so long, they've got three washers on it. Okay. Initially, I was going to try and change all of this plumbing for the fuel lines, and I was looking at the, the way the original restorers did it, and some of that fuel line, it's rubber, and it's, it's starting to get hardened, but it is run up through the frame, the frame rails, so I think in for the short term, I'm just going to put this back the way it was. It worked. I'm just going to have to be very diligent that I clamp these hoses so I don't get any vacuum leaks um, for the fuel. But it is the way it is for right now. So that is the plan. I'm going to just pull these fittings and put the fittings on the new fuel pump to begin with and someday in the future hopefully I'll be able to get some time to rerun all that fuel line but that's not happening today because I would really like this to be a relatively small project I don't know how necessary this is, but I am going to add a little bit of thread sealant on this.
check these screws here. Tight. 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 So I need to scrape off what's left of the gasket on the mounting boss on the block, so and that's not too bad to do. because there wasn't much left. The last thing I need to do is I want to clean it. So I've got some carb cleaner and um, just want to get the oil and residue off that surface. <clears throat> and the last thing I want to do, I have a wooden block that I milled flat on my bridge for it and I got a piece of 220 sandpaper and I want to go after that surface just to make sure it's as clean as I can get it. There is absolutely no room down in here to work. Oh no room at all. A few months back over on my Instagram page, I asked you guys for your opinion on whether or not I should use any kind of a gasket sealant when I was doing this install, and you guys did not disappoint me. You came, you came all guns blazing, <laughs> and you gave me your opinions, and then you did not leave any change on the table. So it was pretty clear that that the vast majority of you do not want to use gasket sealant on this thing. That if the surfaces, your, your answer was, if the surfaces or the mating surfaces were nice and clean and flat, that um, these gaskets should do their job. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this gasket on the back side of this fuel pump and not use any, any um, gasket sealer. And I trust. I trust. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so what I am going to do is I am going to add some assembly lube to this because I want to make sure that when that cam goes in that it's not going to cause any difficulty. So I'm going to do the cam loop and I am Put a little bit of thread sealant on these as well. I am going to give in to the urge to put in a little thread sealant. You guys can hate me now. <laughs> okay. There's so little room down here. So somebody told me once that putting a fuel pump on a cool Jeep motor is going to be the hardest job you've ever done. And I am sort of believing them at this point. There is absolutely no room to work to get this all lined up. All right. Okay, so as I said, I am not going to replace these fuel lines anytime soon. I know they need to be, but to start with, just to get this thing up and running, I'm just going to replace or reinstall the fuel lines that are here. Uh, 
I'm probably going to have to get another clamp for this as well. I'm going to buy another clamp and put it right there. I want to make sure I don't have any vacuum leaks at all. So we're not going to start the Jeep in this episode. I want to change the oil first. So that'll be the next episode, changing the oil in this, this thing. And also, I'm going to make starting the Jeep an entire episode all on its own, just like I did with the Willys MB. So next episode, we're going to change that oil. The episode after will be an entire episode just on getting this thing started. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell so you get notified the next time I post a video. Please leave a comment. We love the comments. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.